Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I'm ready to do my full review on this guy. This is the ProTech SNG, but if you haven't seen my existing videos or Instagram posts of this knife, it is not your everyday ProTech SNG. This is one of the hand ground, compound grind, kind of nightmare grind in the Strider world. Um, mirror polished, just ridiculous, fantastic <laughs> versions of the knife. Um, so obviously it has these ridiculous grinds on it. And in addition to that, the show scale, probably a little hard to tell because it's black, but it is black micarta. And then the button for deployment is, I think, Mother of Pearl, is what they call that. Um, back side of the knife, just aluminum, regular clip as normal. But as you can see, these grinds and that blade finish are really just kind of the, the thing <laughs> about this knife. Um, I got this knife because I had already been looking into getting a Protec SNG. Um, I had wanted to have one to carry and to use, and then <laughs> this one was shiny, and I happened to, um, the, the stars happened to align when these dropped. They were only, um, there was a hundred of these made. This one in particular is numbered, so it's number 35 of 100, come on. Number 35 of 100, and I got really lucky, was able to snag it. They were not easy to get when they dropped, um, and I just couldn't help myself because it was so fantastic looking. This is the first mirror polished knife that I've ever owned. I've never been one for fancy finishes and fancy materials in general, especially on the blade itself, because I like to use knives. So. Spoiler alert, um, I had said when I did my first impressions of this knife that I would wait a while to do my full review. I think I've had this about a month at this point, and I had said, I think at the time, that we would see by the time I was ready to do my full review on this one. First of all, I wasn't planning on using it, haven't. I've just played with it, and it's been mostly sitting in my padded case at home. But. I had mentioned that I would decide by the time I do this whether I was going to keep this knife long term or whether I was going to go ahead and just flip it and turn it into a different knife <laughs> to experience. Um, and the answer is I'm going to sell it. I just, I love this knife through and through. Everything about this knife is fantastic, but I'm just not going to bring myself to carry it or to cut with it. And so to me, as fun as it is to experience a knife like this for a little while, take some pictures of it, play with it, just feel the thwack of that action over and over, um, I just, if I'm not going to use it, if I'm not going to carry it and cut with it, then why do I have a knife around <laughs> at the end of the day? I may change my tune on that eventually, but where I'm at right now with how I look at my knife collection is that I want to have things that I want to put in my pocket and that I want to cut things with. And it's not that I don't want to put this in my pocket and cut with it. It's just that I'm not willing to. Um, there may be some people out there who got this version of this ProTech SNG who are going to treat it like a user. More power to them. Um, I just can't bring myself to do it. So after I finish filming this video, I'm going to reach out to the buddy who asked me to reach out to him first <laughs> and see if he wants to purchase it because these are not easy to come by. Um, if he's not able to at the moment or, or doesn't want to, then I'm just going to be listing this knife and selling it to somebody who hopefully will enjoy it. Um, but yeah, let's talk a little bit about what I like most about this knife, about the things that I might change about this knife, and uh, a, a lot of it will carry over to any version of this knife because the ProTech SNG is going to be this same shape, have the same action, and same ergos. All of that is going to be identical regardless of which version of this you pick. Um, the only differences would maybe be a little bit of the texture if you get the micarta scale one or um, the weight might be a little different if you get the full aluminum one versus one like this. I'm not a big <laughs> weight savings guy anyways. Like the, the fraction of an ounce or whatever that's different between aluminum and micarta, I don't care. Um, so I'm going to talk about this knife as I would 
any ProTech SMG, just I haven't cut with it. <laughs> so keep all of that in mind. I will probably eventually be getting a more baseline version of this knife to carry and use. I would like to have one of these in my collection to carry and use, so that may happen. But let's talk about this knife and kind of how I feel about it with all of that <laughs> in mind. So first of all, the ergos of the SNG, Protec, Strider, uh, either one, I guess Buck also made an SNG for a little while. I've never experienced one of those, don't know that I would particularly care to. Um, but the way that these knives feel in my hand is excellent. Um, it's kind of a funky grip. Like I remember when I started collecting knives and I was kind of learning about Strider, the SNG was a knife that was um, very intriguing to me because I was really curious how it would feel in hand. Now, for some people, these ergos might not work. For me, they're really, really good. The way I hold this knife all the time is in the forward finger choil. That's just where my hand wants to go. And the angles of the knife, when I'm holding it like that, they just feel really, really good. I like where it puts the cutting edge. Um, I like how much control I feel like I have over the blade, how indexed it is. Um, I like the way it rests in my palm that way. If I'm on the grip without being in the choil, still very good. Don't get me wrong, but I just love being up, kind of right where I feel like I've got the most leverage and control over the blade itself. Um, the design of this handle is one of my favorites in existence for reverse grip, <laughs> and reverse grip is important to me. I like putting knives in reverse grip, and so the way that this kind of back ramp is angled, and has this little bit of jimping on it, which I could take or leave the jimping right here, um, but the way that it's angled and textured is just excellent for having my, my thumb on it. In a draw cut, it does it kind of falls apart because it's so designed to go in hand this way in a reverse grip. Um, forward grip draw cut actually feels pretty good. It's very doable for me. Um, but yeah, I love a good saber grip in the choil, and then I also love having a nice reverse grip on this knife. Um, speaking of ergos and jimping, because I kind of mentioned it, the jimping back here doesn't bother me so much. Um, I'd be fine with or without it. It's not painful, it's not that annoying to me, um, it's just kind of there. And in a reverse grip, it's not bothersome. In a regular grip, I don't even know it's there. The jimping that I'm not crazy about is on the spine of the blade. I don't like that jimping at all. This jimping is, in my opinion, bad jimping. <laughs> um, it's just the, the edges are like total 90 degree. They're a little bit sharp um, and it's spaced kind of far apart to the point where like most of the jimping that I find myself enjoying is spaced pretty close together. It's pretty fine jimping because I feel like it actually gives me like a, a traction point on the knife. Whereas this just feels uncomfortable and I don't feel like it's actually giving me better traction. Maybe in gloves, maybe this is an operator knife and I'm supposed to be wearing tactical gloves while I hold it. Uh, no one's EDCing this knife with gloves on. <laughs> and most of the people who own this knife are carrying it for EDC. So I don't know, maybe there should be an operator version. And I don't mean the operator version that's all blacked out, but like a tactical version that is designed for with gloves and one without. That would be a fine solution for me. I'd get the one without any of this jimping because to me it's just bothersome. I don't like it, this version or otherwise. I don't want jimping right here. It just don't like it. Um, I would say the jimping is probably one of the only kind of weak points of this knife design, in my opinion. Um, and some people probably love the jimping. So if <laughs> you find yourself enjoying most jimping, then that's probably not gonna bother you and you're gonna like this design even more than I do. And I quite like this design. Um, the other thing that I would say is not my favorite about the ProTech SNG or the SNG in general is the clip and its placement. Um, the clip itself, Functionally, gets uh, I mean, it stays in pocket well. It slides in and out of pocket fairly well, especially on this with the just smooth aluminum um, clip side scale. So in and out of pocket, it's okay, but it does leave, I mean, a pretty big hump sticking out of your pocket, and I am very open about the fact that I prefer deep carry clips. So I don't like having this giant pyramid thing with steps on it from the jimping sticking out of my pocket. I would prefer if it was deep carry. Um, especially like, this is the ProTech version of the knife, right? ProTech makes my favorite pocket clip 
currently in the game. Um, I don't have it next to me. In fact, my Malibu is not even here. Otherwise, I'd show you. Um, but on the Malibu and a number of their other models, what they do is they take a loop over deep carry style clip and then they mill out a little pocket for the clip to sit into the scale of the knife so that it's flush with the scale. Um, there's no like step up for the pocket clip. And then they like countersink the holes for the hardware to go into and they use flat top hardware. So the hardware sits flush with the clip like tang which sits flush with the handle scale so everything is just flush and then it's a loop over deep carry clip that comes right to the butt of the knife that is my favorite clip that exists so protec is capable of phenomenal clips i get that here they're using the strider clip this is the same clip i don't know if they literally use the same one or if it's just like protex clone of their clip or whatever you want to call it Clone is the wrong term because they're supposed to be making these. They have an agreement with Strider, but it's like a genuine Strider clip. It's got the little tang thing that sticks down into the scale and then one screw, and it's just a fairly simple clip design. Um, I assume they're just doing that because it's part of them making the SNG because this really is an SNG partnered between... <laughs> Protec and Strider. So Strider's basically allowing Protec to manufacture some SNGs. And I think that's a cool thing. I just wish Protec had a little more, um, a, a little more traction in how much Protec is in this knife. Because if there was just their clip added to this, I would like it so much more. Um, I wish that was a possibility. I feel like on the PT that Protec does with Strider, the smaller version of this knife, I think they do a deep carry clip on that one, but I could be mistaken. I don't remember 100%. I feel like that's true though. Anyway, um, so the clip and the jimping are two things that aren't my favorite, but neither of them ruin the knife for me. Like I said, I would like to get a more basic version of this knife soon and just really carry and use it, and use it hard. I like this design as a hard use knife. I love the ergos in my hand and the placement of the blade. Um, I love the way it indexes. I, I just, I enjoy so much about it. And then the fact that it's a Protec and I've got just a ridiculously snappy, satisfying action, it just takes it to another level. Um, frankly, some of the diehard Strider guys might <laughs> find this statement abrasive or they might not like it or whatever. Um, I don't dislike Strider knives. Uh, sometimes in group chats, I act like I do because I'm in some group chats with some pretty diehard Strider fanboys. Um, I actually, I, I enjoy most of Strider's knives. Some of them I think are a little out there. Um, some of them I think are kind of pricey for what they are. There, there's a whole lot going on in that world. And I do find that the fan base for Striders can be one of the most difficult to navigate in terms of how intense they are. <laughs> um, I don't even want to be in Strider Facebook groups or forums. It just, they're off-putting to me sometimes. <laughs> um, anyway, at the risk of offending some of those people, I prefer the Protec Strider to the Strider Strider. Like, if I could pick an SNG to carry and use, or a pretty one to put in the safe and play with every now and then. If I was picking my SNG, I'd pick the Protec one over the Strider one. Um, there are certainly, that, that there are advantages to getting the real Strider the frame lock. It's a totally different lock type. It's, a, it's built in a different way. Um, but for me, with this design, having at least handled both pretty extensively. Um, I like the way Protec does it, and I have fun with the fact that it's an auto. Um, I don't find that the Strider SNG is an overly fidgety knife to begin with, so I don't feel like I'm really missing out on like a drop shut action or anything. Um, if there's some SNGs out there that are real drop shutty, I haven't experienced them yet, and I've handled a few. Um, so yeah, I just, I really like the way Protec does this knife. Genuinely, I would love to get one. Probably not just like the the basic one, <laughs> because I, I like to think I'm a little more Gucci than that. But if I could find the right one, 
with a micarta scale and then either a satin or like a stone wash blade or something, a good user configuration, then I'll probably get one eventually. I don't know that I feel like I need to sell this one and run out and buy another one right immediately because I've kind of scratched the itch for a minute with this one. Um, but I'm probably going to miss this knife when it's gone. I really, really like playing with this knife. I just enjoy it. And there's, there's a sense that I get when I hold on to this knife that I just, I want to put it to use. I want to feel these ergos in action. And so it's almost certain that I'm going to be getting another one. But the moral of the story is, for me, Jake from Bearded Gear, this one's just a little too Gucci. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just so nice. It's so pretty. The finish on it is just remarkable. Um, and it's too nice for me and where I sit currently. Um, there are other knives in this price range that I would use, but they're not going to be mirror polished and like ridiculous cool compound grinds like this. So yeah, I just, I'm not at all upset with myself for having gotten this one. So glad I got to experience it, but I need to get a more basic version for me to really use it. So I guess that's going to be that. Uh, this will be my full review of the Protec Strider SNG compound hand grind mirror polished by Mike Irie. This one is number 35 of 100 and it's not going to be mine for much longer. <laughs>